Hello everyone, I'm back with my IKEA headlamp and I'm here because I've already run out of videos to make. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, sort of. But anyway, today instead of showing you all my Build-A-Bears, which I already did, well at least most of them, I think I'm going to make a video soon showing my thrifted bears, but that's definitely going to be an ongoing video because I got so many. I might make little short TikToks or whatever when I get a new bear, something like that. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, today we are going to be talking about clothing. So, I've got a bunch of clothes. Some of them are already on some of my furry friends. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the clothes I got. At least most of them. I think some clothes are on some bears that I don't have on me right now, but let's do this. All right, so first off, let's do some of the ones that are already dressed up, like my girl right over here. I got the Kisses For You pup. My first, my oldest bear that I have that I actually got, got as a kid. She's currently sporting this cute little candy cane dress. Look at this bow. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And she's got these really old Hello Kitty panties. That's what they call them, okay? Don't come for me, but that's what they call them. The little cute panties and yeah that's her i've got this little guy right here too cute for this planet it's backwards so maybe it'll fix some post but yeah and this is like specific for the little babies so some of the babies will actually come with clothes i think like let me show some over here and post i'm sorry my future self so many things in post but yeah, the babies actually sometimes do come with clothes, so watch out for that. I think that's really cute. Next, we have Floral Paulette. She's sporting this cute Easter dress. Look there, and these magenta panties. It's not doing it justice, but these are really bright in real life. So there's that. It's got the little bow. That was for Easter. The other outfit was for Christmas. Then we have... The sleeper, of course. I've already showed that off. We got Tom Nook in a Luigi outfit, a hat, and this is a wristy. So a wristy is something that obviously goes on their wrist. It's like a little object usually. Sometimes it's food or something like that. And it just goes around their wrist like that and so they can hold it. That's really cute. Got a star wristy. See, sorry, my friend. See, Hello Kitty is currently wearing her swimsuit and she's got this popsicle wristy with a little bow on it. Isn't that cute? See, I'm doing this at a fast pace. I got another thrifted bear here, Holly Moose. She's wearing this adorable Christmas dress that she came with also got this bow but that came with her that's attached to her so it's got this little apron missile not mistletoe what's it called i don't know sorry then i have a thrifted jasmine so this jasmine is from the 2019 i think um live action remake but this outfit is just the generic jasmine outfit that they usually have she did come with like a special outfit for the movie let me show you a picture right there sorry myself in post but picture right there that's her original outfit but i just have this the generic jasmine outfit then of course i've showed these the cows the little ice cream cone wristy these white sneakers it's cute and her with her dress, she doesn't have any panties or anything. The dress doesn't have any like extra ruffles, it's just this. Which honestly is not my favorite, but I still think it's really cute. I have the frog with, this came out in Easter. It's a little frog plaid shirt with a little bow attached to it. He's got on some jeans, some dark jeans and some boots. There we go. And we got my Clark, he comes with this Christmas hat that's got National Lampoon on it. This little glass moose mug wristy and his pants. 
And this is all attached, so it's a shirt and this, and it comes off right back here. Got a little tie. Oops. And I've got my magenta Berlin in this I Believe shirt and this old cute little skirt from when I was a kid. It's got a little chain on it. See, it's got like hearts, like stars on it. It's really cute. It's got like a hole in the back for the tail. Then I got my Snoopy here, one of my prized favorites. He's got a little Woodstock's wristy right there. So it's a wristy. And he's got the, what was this, 50th anniversary of Disney World outfit on. I just think it looks really cute on him. There. So, oh, I got one more. I've got, I haven't done her birth certificate yet, but I got her online. She was a recycled bear, so you could only get her um, pre-stuffed. She was the special Earth Day bear. She's really cute. This lighting and everything, I couldn't really get it. Even the image on the website really didn't do her justice. She's like a roasted marshmallow color. She's really pretty. She's got this little outfit on. She's also got these shorts, these jean shorts, like jean shorts. Then if I take all this off, it's got the online exclusive the, the online exclusive babe swimsuit. It's like iridescent and everything. It is so cute. So that's that. So that's what everyone is whoop, That's what everyone is already wearing. That's what they normally wear. Now I'm going to show you like my outfits that I don't normally have on. I've got some seasonal. I've got some others. So let's do this. Alright, so first off, I'm going to show you Hello Kitty's cute little dress that came with the 2023 Summer Hello Kitty. Some of these animals will come. I think I've already mentioned that. Like, I keep repeating myself. Sorry. But um, some of these things come with themed outfits. You don't have to get them with the bear. You don't have to get them if you get the bear or whatever. But I like to if it's something that I really like. So this is what it looks like. Just flat. I think it's really cute. And there we go. I'm almost done. Let's go ahead. And let's adjust the dress a little bit. And here's what it looks like on her. I think it looks really cute. Like the swimsuit, I wish the belt came all the way around. It doesn't. But I think it's really cute. Got the like this kind of fishnet ruffle underneath. It's excuse me, really adorable. There we go. So that's Hello Kitty Cinema Roll. My guy over here did not come with anything other than the sleeper. So that's that for the Sanrio. Let's get on to the rest. So here I have a bunny suit. I got quite a lot of stuff for Easter. I was working at Build a Bear during around Easter time too. So I got this. And modeling it will be my KK because during Easter, like near where, like there's this little display I like to do in my house. And um, during the seasons, I like to dress up my Build a Bears accordingly. So KK was dressed up in a little bunny outfit during Easter. I just think it looks really cute, and I think it really, you know, mixes well with this fur since he's all white. Now I don't. If I remember correctly, I don't think it fit fully on him, like it fully closed or anything. But um, let's find out. Moment of truth, he's got a huge head. I forgot about this. This is the part that didn't fit very well. Shove his head in there. It closes. So <laughs> there we go. There's KK in the bunny outfit. There's what he looks like in all his glory. He does seem to fit. So yeah, there he is. Oh, that's so cute. Bunny outfit. I got a lot of Easter stuff. I think the Easter stuff and the theme stuff is really cute. Some people find it tacky. Some people just want regular clothes. And that's perfectly understandable. I'm just a fan of everything Build-A-Bear does. So not everything, but you know. All right, so while we're at it, let me have another wristy. 
It's a little peep wristy. It says peeps on there. Just put it around the wrist. That's what it looks like. I had that also on KK. I also have... Hmm, who's going to be easier to do this with? I'll do it with you. One of my thrifted bears. So cute. Here we have the Super Mario hoodie. I think I got the blue one as well. There was another one. It was like a Yoshi one. I got that one. That came out for like the Mario movie. And they had Bowser too. I think some of this stuff is re-released that they used to have. But it just re-came out with the Mario movie. Here we have a mushroom. Right there. Little wristy. We have this hoodie. It doesn't have any ear holes. Some of the hoodies do have ear holes for the bears. And some of them do not. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like without the hood. There we go. So yeah, we have that. That's hoodies right there. I also have this hoodie I know some people might not be interested but I'm a football fan so if you're a football fan they actually have tons of bears if you um, they'll usually have or pretty much always have your team's bear so like they'll have my team's bear from where I'm from or like at least the place where you live I guess not your team but like the place that you live in like let's say you live in like the San Francisco area there's gonna have 49ers stuff you're gonna have a 49ers bear you're probably gonna have like the 49ers uniform and they also do like little hoodies and some of the stuff is online exclusive and if you do not live in like an area like let's say you live in um, Pittsburgh but you're not a Steelers fan you're a Cowboys fan you can always ask them to order like the Cowboys bear online I did that for somebody so I think that's cool there's I ordered this online we have little bears. Let's get this bear hoodie on the... Oh, my little guy fell. Let's put this bear this hoodie on the bear. How it looks. It's pretty much going to look like the Mario one because it's a, basically the same thing. Although this hoodie does have ear holes on it. It's a little big for this guy right here. But I think it looks great. Here we are. Bear's hoodie. And they do have some stuff for hockey, they have some stuff for basketball. So you can go ahead and check that out. They're so cute. The hoodies basically pretty much look the same, but like I said, there's some with ear holes and some with not, so. All right, so this is one of my, uh, what are they called? Shoot, why am I blanking on this? Cub condos. Cub condos, they are smaller, they're condos now, right? I was surprised when I heard that because I was like, condo? Well, these are houses. To me, they were houses as a kid. They are a bit smaller, actually. Like, little side note, they are actually smaller, and the bears actually did get bigger. So, from when I was a kid, the condos got smaller and the bears got bigger. Inflation, am I right? But anyway, this is where I hold most of my clothes. I'm not going to splurge on like everything. I might make if you guys are into crafting or anything i might actually craft my own um closet like for my build-a-bear stuff i do have some hangers i unfortunately don't have the um dresser i think the dresser is kind of a little bit tacky looking i'll put a picture right there you can buy the dresser if you want it's kind of cute it has a lot of little pockets and things for places to go but I just don't feel like buying it. It's too much money for me and it's not important. I have this box. So let's see what we get. Here we have a traditional old build of our happy birthday shirt. It actually, I think came with this guy over here. So we're gonna put that on him. Put this little shirt, give him back his shirt, you know. There we go. It's a classic old school Build-A-Bear shirt. It's even got this little tag right here that some old Build-A-Bears have. This is what the tag looks like. Let me show you. It's a classic Build-A-Bear. I really like the classic style, the old school looking like art. I think it looks really cute. That's what it looks like on this guy. It's just a regular old t-shirt. I have a little sailor outfit. 
see, the sailor outfit was on this guy right here, so let me go ahead, quickly disrobe him. I'm gonna put him back in his clothes. He's been naked for a while, because I just haven't gotten around to dressing this guy or that guy right over there. I like to dress my Build-A-Bears. I think that's like part of the fun of Build-A-Bear. So I like to, as you can see, a lot of my Build-A-Bears are dressed up in either clothes that they were marketed with or I just think looks good on them. And some of them I haven't changed. Like some of them are still in Easter clothes. So yeah, I just like to dress them up, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. But let's go. We're going ahead and we're doing that right now, I guess. For this video. Here's what this guy looks like. He's got this right here. And it's just basic velcro. Little tail hole. That's what that guy looks like. So adorable. And you can get stuff like that. You can get like army stuff. You can get a bunch of different stuff. Order that stuff online. I have another pair of jeans. This is the classic looking jeans. But yeah, you can order, like, it's really surprising to me. You can order so many things. You can order, like, tuxedos and brides' dresses. You can order different colored, like, caps and gowns and tassels even. Like, different colored tassels for, like, graduation and stuff. A lot of that stuff's online. But you can go to the store and, like, get it ordered to you at the store while you're paying for stuff in store. I think that's really, really cool. But yeah, Build-A-Bear has a lot of stuff for a lot of occasions. Not sponsored, by the way, but if I were, that would be really cool, Build-A-Bear. I'm just saying this stuff like a little side note, but like, I know like I'm not sponsored or anything and it sounds like it might sound like I'm Build-A-Bear, Build-A-Bear, but I think like when I worked at the store, there was a, we'd get a lot of questions, we'd promote a lot of stuff. A lot of people just wouldn't know about a lot of stuff, so I just think it's really cool and I want to share all that stuff with you guys. So yeah, if you're interested, this is what the jeans look like, of course, it looks basic, just the same thing. Okay, now we're going to get to shoes. I have some shoes hidden and I have these Build-A-Bear Skechers. Look, Skechers and they got the tag, they are Build-A-Bear. When I first, oops. Sorry, I hit my guy on the head. When I first saw these on the bear, I was so like, oh, somebody put these in like kid shoes. They're not kid shoes, they're Build-A-Bear. And they got like little zippers. Oh my goodness, let me put these on. I really like the shoes, but I don't have that many shoes. Oh, there's the tongue, it comes out like that. This is the inside, I don't think you can really see, but it's the Skechers in there. Yeah, but the shoes are really cool. They're a little complicated. I have a hard time, like, figuring out where, like, the big toe is supposed to be and all that stuff. All that jazz. But, eventually you figure it out. There, that's what they look like. I don't know. I really like the shoes, but I can't really, f I don't usually find shoes that I really like that much. I think these are cute. They kind of look big on them, though. Looks interesting. It looks interesting. It's cute. They're interesting. I'm not super huge on the shoes, though. So, yeah. There's that. Oops, sorry, little kitty. This is the guy. This was what he was originally in, so... When I first thrifted him. So, I love thrifting old clothes. I think it's so cool. Let's see this and the black belt this little top this came with um this whole outfit this and the black belt it came with um a dragon and it was um for the year of the dragon it actually had a necklace and everything i don't have that on me i haven't um, gotten it stuffed yet so i'm not going to show that right now but when i do i will all right Oops. I don't think this is Build-A-Bear, but it was on one of my Build-A-Bears and I was just like, that's so cute. Like it's like fishnet and it's this little sparkly and it's a crop top. Let me put on someone to show you guys. But yeah, that's another thing. Like I love to buy the Build-A-Bear clothes and I love to put them on, but like baby clothes, like little baby clothes, they fit too. And you can make your own clothes too. Like don't feel entitled to like 
not entitled, but like forced, that's the word, forced to get only Build-A-Bear stuff. Like you can go ahead and do your own thing. Like as a kid, we used to get little toddler stuff and put our Build-A-Bears in there. That's what it looks like. It's fur's white, but there you can see it's like see-through. I think that's so cute. But yeah, don't feel forced to get anything. Anything in my videos, anything that anybody else has in any of their videos, don't feel forced to get anything. Now here's this, this is a little purse and this is so cute. Oh, I have sunglasses in here. These did not come together with some other stuff. I just put them all together. These purple, I don't think you can see the color very well, but they're like purple heart-shaped sunglasses. I also have this <laughs> this little mask for whenever my bear goes out, you know? Controversial. I don't know. I think that's funny and cute. But this is what came together. So this little cute little see-through purse and this. I don't feel like unfolding it and folding it again. I'll do it for you guys. Let's see. It's a little towel. A little towel blanket for going to the beach. I think that's so cute. I love stuff like this. I'm a huge sucker for things like this, so. I'm really happy I got that. It's a little purse. See, my little girl on the beach. She's got a purse. Ooh, and I also got, where is it? This cute little bucket hat. So there, oh, gotta lift it up so she can see. Her little purse, her little outfit, going to the beach. Little bucket hat. Yeah, they have hats too. This one, I don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't have any ear holes. Normally a lot of them will have ear holes, but I just find that really, like, weird that this one doesn't. <laughs> Let me put the mask on. This also, normally, like, I bought this online, so, like, I got it separately, but this mask will come with, um... They'll have like scrubs and stuff and it comes together in like a cap. So they got like a lot of cool stuff like occupations, sports, special events, stuff like that. That's really cute. So you can get Build-A-Bear for any occasion, any occasion. Now let's, let's put my hand in this. See what? Okay. She was actually wearing this before, but let's see. Do I have any bears that are naked right now? You're naked. I oh, but you're white. It's gonna be harder. 25th anniversary bear. This little bralette. Yeah, yeah, bralette. Like, you guys should really, if you haven't, check out the website. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. But there's really cool stuff on the website. They've also got this thing called Build-A-Bear After Dark. I think I'm gonna talk about that when I get some more stuff from there. This isn't from there, this is just regular. This came with like um, the shorts. It came with this and some black jean shorts, but I didn't want the black jean shorts. I didn't think they looked that good. They weren't my cup of tea, maybe later. It's like, this is what it was advertised with. I think that's so cute. So now we have these little heart-shaped boxers that we had for Valentine's Day. Those are just really cute. I think the underwear is really cute. It's not necessary either. I like to do them with like the dresses and just plain old boxers if I want the boxers. But they they feel like really clunky and weird over the clothes. So ooh, you can definitely tell them these Build-A-Bears are. Ooh, this is a little interesting, but this guy's a little big. This guy's big. That's weird. That's not weird, but that's interesting. I wonder why. But he's kind of big for these heart-shaped boxers, but this is what they look like. There's a little tail hole. So they look like on one bear, but normally they're not that tight. Let me find a little fence, my guy. I didn't really mention this, but different builder bears have different, like, body types I guess just like people so some things aren't going to fit exactly correctly or going to fit the same on some build bears and that's perfectly fine I would just try and see if it fits before you buy it if you like the way it fits and yeah isn't that cute that's so cute there's a little hole in that that's so cute I love the boxers and the little underwears and stuff 
Now here's a heart-shaped sleeper. It's got like hearts, but it's also got like bear heads. So there's that and it opens from the front. Let's see, what do I feel like? It's kind of gonna be tricky because this is like, this bear is meant to be sitting all the time. And this is not made for bears that are meant to be sitting. I'm just not, I need to start undressing them because I'm just putting them in weird outfits, but it still fits, it still looks nice. That's what it looks like. So cute. I had this on display for Valentine's Day. All right. A little bit of interruption, but we're back. I don't remember what I was in the middle of doing, but anyway, I forgot. I realized I forgot to do show the sunglasses, but that's what they look like. They're cute. All right, let's go forward and onward and see what we got here. That's for Snoopy. That's Snoopy's aviator outfit. I pulled out the scarf a little bit earlier, and that's that. Are you Snoopy? Oh, I don't feel like taking his clothes off though. Okay, let's do this. Oops, sorry Snoopy. He also came with this collar. It's already attached. It says Snoopy on it. This is the second, I think, Snoopy, because I know there was an original Snoopy that came out and he did not have um, the collar and he looked a bit different than this. So. But Snoopy's one of my favorites. I love the peanuts and I think he's so cute. This. I think they did such a good job on him. Like, I don't know, like, if I'd want Charlie Brown or anything, but I love the Peanuts so much. I just want them to bring out more merch. I would love to see build do more merch. Like, little shirts, like, um, Joe Cool Snoopy outfit. That'd be so cute. Alright, so this is what he looks like. A little scar, little aviator outfit, his little eyes. This jacket's Velcro on the front. So, yeah, that's... Snoopy's aviator outfit. Let's see what else we have. Oh. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, got. I'm not gonna put this on either because I don't have my bear with me. But I've got um, a little jersey for that. Got overalls. Let me see. Who can I put overalls in? I'm gonna put you in overalls. You're my model for today. I haven't decided a name for her. Anybody in the comments have a name? I was thinking like, oop, excuse me, kitty? Marshmallow or something, or roasted marshmallow, because she looks like it. But I have no idea. She's an Earth Day bunny. She was recycled. All of her is recycled. I think that's really cool. I think she's so cute. That's what her paw print looks like. It's more like brownish. It doesn't do justice on camera because of my terrible lighting but her paw prints like a cute like gold brown all right Let's see this is what the overalls look like that is so cute she looks like a pearl is it pearl no no no, no. the girl from x if you know what i'm talking about but it's got a little cotton tail a little hole for that then we got the rainbow shorts. I just had to get these. I had to. I unfortunately did not. Let me see where I'm gonna put them on. Unfortunately did not. I'll put you, no, you're kind of. Let's put them on KK. They had the. The rainbow shirt. I'm so mad. I did not get that. I didn't. It sold out apparently fairly quickly, so. But. I did get the shorts. I had to. They're so cute. Oh. Oh. This is what the Build-A-Bear little, like the yellow thing I showed earlier, that's what it looks like now. This is what the shorts look like on KK. I wish it was lined up better, like lined up in the middle. That's what they look like. Little tail hole. <laughs> I love these. I can't wait to style them with one of my bears. I haven't styled it yet. I haven't... I haven't done anything for pride. I should do something for pride in my little area where I set it up. Oop, here's the other Mario hoodie, the Yoshi one. Let's see, what are these bears? 
give me your body tools. I will use you. Let's get this off of you real quick. Alright, so here's this hoodie. It also doesn't have holes for the ears either. So it looks like on a bear. Me. Nothing on the back. That's what it looks like without. It looks like this little thing. Looks like it has an earring. Makes it look like it has an earring. There you are. Alright, so here's Tom Nook's winter outfit and in an other another video. I was showing all my build bears off. If you haven't seen that, go ahead, um, click on my little icon, subscribe. But while we're here, subscribe, like, all that stuff, comment, comment how you think about everything, your opinions on everything, how you'd style everything, what you want, what you... But anyway, if you've seen my other video, I talked about how, like, I was showing him off. And my Tom Nook is currently buried actually currently in a luigi outfit and i really love the fact that it's a luigi i love this everything about this is just makes me happy so that's what that looks like so i really like and it's tedious so i really won't put this on but you know follow my tiktok and bombard me put a million comments and stuff like that in the description i mean on the description in the comment section if you really 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 want to see him in his outfit but like, if not, like there's pictures online. I'll even show a picture right here of what it looks like. I'll also show the summer one because there was a summer one as well. So that's what that looks like. Ooh, a bunny slipper. I had KK also on this when he was in the bunny outfit. All right, let's put some of this stuff down. It's the Animal Crossing sleeper. I have it all bunched up for some reason. This is why I need to make um a closet so bully me in the comments into making a closet not bully but like bombard me into making a closet here's this sleeper it's pretty much like um cinnamon roll sleeper but it's a little bit of a different fabric let me see yeah cinnamon rolls is more of a sleeker thicker fabric this feels like thinner and stuff like that it's got all the characters it's got like zip off in the back here I have this Girl Scout outfit. This, this, and it has like a little tie knot. It has a skirt, and like I got a Girl Scout um, bear carrier. This is what it looks like, by the way. Like I'm not a Girl Scout or a past Girl Scout or anything, but I just really love the Girl Scout stuff. I think it looks really cute. They even have special bears. Like you can look online. How many times am I gonna plug the online store anywhere? You, anyway, you can look online and they have different bears for different cookies. And they do a different one each year. It is so cool. They also like host Girl Scout stuff, like badge stuff, I think. And they used to like do stuff in the store. Like Build-A-Bear has like a lot of stuff for like Girl Scouts. They have like sashes and stuff, which I think is really cool and really cute. So if you're interested, in that if you're a girl scout or a former girl scout and you really want that stuff check it out it's really really cool get you in a skirt you're not the perfect bear to be using this for but i think it looks good Let's see that's what it looks like it's got this and these little things like on the pants and stuff you put it around the arms and like it stays i didn't feel like doing that right now so there's that. Got this little Christmas sweater I haven't taken the tag off of. Oh, it's a little bear. It says this. I don't know what this is, like Tipsy Elf or whatever, but I think that's so funny and so cute. Oh. Here we are. It's a new day. Got my lamp head still. I got my box and we're going to do the rest of these guys over here. I'm gonna do, I mean, the rest of these clothes in here. Now let's see what we got. Oh, sorry, frog. No, we already did that. If this police outfit, this is an older one. See, you can see right there. Let me get the lighting correct. There you go. 
There you go. That's the whole point of it all. That's the whole point of it all. Then we got this shirt. This is old. Let me see. Let me... Come on, you haven't... My girl will flodge, build a bear. Let's get some clothes on you. Now let me show you. So we've got different types of shirts. Most of the shirts nowadays have like Velcro at the back. This is just a regular old shirt. This is the tag. It just goes over the head like this. I'm just now realizing I never really talked about how the clothes get on. I never really showed putting it on that much. Here we go. It's really big because like I think I mentioned at one point the boxes got smaller. The bears got bigger. Oh wait, but then that would make this bigger. I don't know. The clothes I feel like got a little bit smaller too. But the underwear. The, um, my bear right here has this Hello Kitty underwear. It's kind of small so you can see that the bears did get bigger because, um, that does not fit a lot of the bears that I have. Ooh, here's this jean skirt, it's glittery jean skirt. It's got a little hole in the back. Let me see, for example, it's like stretchy at the back and kind of like more firm at the front. See, it's got fake, it's got faux pockets. So you just get the feet, put it through like this, just like that. You'd get it over. Oops, it's not correct. I have to shift it a little bit. And there's a hole for the tail. Just pop the tail right through like that. This is difficult for some reason. It's really difficult to do it up in the air like this, but here we are. Skirt. We have this outfit. Let's get these jean, this jean skirt off. Let's get it off like that. Then we have this, it's a two-piece. This is the skirt. It's like floral, and then it has this Velcro at the back. So you just take it, the dress, I mean the skirt, line it up like that. Velcro, and the Velcros, there's not a lot. So there's just a little bit for the tail to come through like that. It's a skirt, and then it came with a top that looks like this. It's got like ruffly, but it's only on like one in the front. Just like the Hello Kitty dress, it's like flat on the back and roughly in the front. Zip, I mean, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, Velcro. So then you just put the arms through the straps like so, and then you'd velcro the back. Gotta align it a little bit better, so I'm gonna take it a little bit off screen there. That's what the back of that looks like, that's what the front of it looks like, you can adjust it like so. It's cute. Let's see what we have next. got these older bear slippers. I think they're so cute. They're not that old, but they're older. So this is how the slippers work. It's like uh, stretchy like this. So that you just put it around the foot like so. Just in case of like a glove. I'll do the other one. And then they look like that. The back, we can adjust it. Make it look like that. So cute. And then we have my one thing from Build a Bear After Dark. We have this little underwear. It's got strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries on it and little like chocolate bears, like brown bears. And this bra, this, bra, this elastic 
band right there, and I think that's so cute. Um, let's see. Why don't we put that on my friend, Grey Wolf Lodge Bear, over here? Let's just undress. It's easy to just pop all that stuff off. Slide it off. Just on the Velcro. Take it off. And then for this, you just pop it over the head like so. And then put the hands through the straps like this. And I'll do the other side. Pull it over. It's like a sports bra or something like that if you want it to be. You could it could be whatever. I think it looks cute. Then we have the underwear. There's a little hole for the tail. And you just get this, put it over the feet, put it over the feet, put the tail through the hole, and then you pull the underwear up like so. I'm gonna adjust it a bit, I'm just gonna adjust it. Then we're gonna put the slippers on. These are bunny slippers. They look like this. They're cute. I had them on my KK when he was in the bunny suit, it was adorable. And this is what it all looks like. I think this is so cute. This is from Build a Bear After Dark, and they do a bunch of cool stuff. They had like boxers like these. I'm fortunately, unfortunately, didn't end up getting them. Um, Build a Bear After Dark is online exclusives only. Uh, it's part of the Bear Cave, and the Bear Cave has all the licensed stuff, like adult licensed stuff. Like they have Ted Lasso. They have comic book characters. They had like horror characters. I think they had like Beetlejuice. They have like licensed characters. I wouldn't say Beetlejuice is only for adults. I think it's like a kind of like a PG movie or PG-13. But yeah, they have cool stuff like that and they have like a bunch of other stuff like um, like champagne glasses. They have rosé glasses. Like put up some pictures right there. I think it's really cool. So if you think that's cool, go ahead and check it out. Yeah, so basically that's all the clothes that I have currently. I'm definitely going to be getting some in the future. That was just me showing off my collection, as well as showing you how some, some of them fit on different animals, what they look like, how to put them on, different stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you subscribe and like for more content. Um, comment down below which outfit was your favorite, and yeah, that's it. Bye!